What are your top 9 favorite Dragon Ball Z sagas of all time? Hey everybody, welcome to this week's episode of Dragon Ball Z Discussion, where we do weekly discussion about Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, and Dragon Ball GT. Today's discussion is, what is your top 9 favorite Dragon Ball Z seasons of all time? Let me know in the comments below, as I'll be sharing you guys my top 9 favorite Dragon Ball Z season. Inside North America, they released Dragon Ball Z into 9 seasons. There's a lot of songs inside Dragon Ball Z, but inside the United States, they've divided those arcs into 9 seasons. So inside here, I'm going to talk about my top 9 favorite Dragon Ball Z season. At the end of the discussion, like I said, share with me your top 9 favorite season, as I'd like to know what is your list. So everybody, let's get to my list. Coming in at number 9 We got Season 2 The Ginyu Saga Now don't get me wrong, all these Dragon Ball seasons are very good But compared to the other Dragon Ball Z season, the Ginyu Saga was by far the most boring as one to me Because pretty much inside the saga, we had Goku out throughout the whole saga While he, they're trying Goku make his way towards Namek Training under 100 times gravity Then we got Vegeta going on a rampage, killing all Nameks just to find a Dragon Ball And we got Krill and Gohan going to Namek to look for the Dragon Ball Which is kind of a boring season This season kicked out when Goku landed to find a Namek and he fights a Ginyu Force That's when the season started kicking out but until then It was a really boring season Coming in at number 8 We got Season 7, The World Tournament Saga and the Great Saiyan Saga. Now the World Tournament Saga was a really great season. The reason why it's very low on my list is because of the Great Saiyan. I think that ruined the season showing all Gohan's heroic move and all that. I was kind of boring but what made this season so good was that this season was the fight with Goku and Paikon. We get to see a nice fight in the other world. Then we have the World Tournament coming back. Which, is a, which gave you the Dragon Ball feel because inside Dragon Ball it was all about World Martial Arts Tournaments fight they decided to do that inside Dragon Ball Z and we even have Goku coming back from the dead just for one day so this was a really interesting season right here that's the reason why I added it to my list coming in at number 7 we got season 4 the Android Saga the Android Saga is a pretty great season it's about Trunks coming here Find the androids, uh, giving Goku the antidote, telling him that the androids will come kill you one day. You have to survive with this heart virus that's gonna attack you. Here's the antidote. Then we have Goku out throughout the whole android saga. We pretty much had Goku out inside this whole season. This season is more about the Z fire, which is a pretty good season. I like that fact that they involved a lot of Z fire inside the season. It was a pretty interesting season, but it wasn't that good compared to other seasons. It's the reason why I added it to be number seven. Coming in at number six, we got the Cell Saga. This saga was a very great saga, especially for. Piccolo. I pretty much say this is like a more of a Piccolo saga because this is a saga where Piccolo swallows his pride and goes to fuse with Kami and becomes a super Namek. It was very epic to see how Piccolo's new power, he goes beats the crap out of Cell, but then Cell snakes him and then throughout the whole series Goku's trying to look for Cell and this is a season where Goku wakes up from his heart virus. But the reason why I really liked the season was due to Piccolo fusing with Kami. This pretty much this season was all about Piccolo season which I really like. Coming in at number 5. We got season 1 the Saiyan Saga. This season was a really epic season. This is a season where Goku finds out who he is. Throughout the entire Dragon Ball, we did not know what Goku was. We just knew that he was a boy with a tail. But inside Dragon Ball Z Season 1, it revealed that Goku is a Saiyan and that he has a brother who comes here. We see Goku's brother and then we see Goku dying and he has to train so that he could fight two other powerful Saiyans, Vegeta and Nappa. And then we see Goku knowing KO Ken. So this season really picked up when it comes to Dragon Ball Z. I say it was a really good way to start off Dragon Ball Z Season 1, which is with the Saiyan arc. I really like this season. Coming in at number 4, we got the Cell Game Saga. Now the Cell Game Saga was an amazing saga of season 6. I really love the fact how they make Gohan transform to a Super Saiyan 2 inside the saga. And then we have a fight with Goku and Cell, then Goku going, then Gohan turning Super Saiyan 2, poning Cell up, and then we see a lot of great battle inside season 6. This was pretty much all a non-stop action battle. And I really liked the way they did this. And one thing that's sad about the season was that Goku had to die, which is a pretty sad thing, but at the end of the day, Super Saiyan 2 Gohan was epic. Coming in at number 3, we got Season 9 aka The Fusion Saga. This saga was really amazing because we have Goku and Vegeta fusing to become one which is Vegito. So we have Vegito coming to the battlefield, we got Gohan's new found power which is his mystic power. It was really epic and I really liked the way how Season 9 went down. A lot of people kind of complain about this Boo Saga but me personally, I love the way how the Boo Saga went. It was amazing and that's the reason why this is number 3. Coming in at number 2, we got Season 8, The Boo Saga. The reason why this season is number 2 is because two reasons. One, we had the best fight, Goku versus Vegeta. We got Super Saiyan 2 Goku versus Majin Vegeta. We got two Super Saiyan fighting each other. And second reason why this is an amazing season was because we have the legendary Super Saiyan 3. 
Goku training Super Saiyan 3 for the first time. Now, when we first all saw Dragon Ball Z, we thought that there would be no such thing as Super Saiyan 3. We knew that there was only Super Saiyan 2. We never thought Akira Trauma would surprise us with Goku going Super Saiyan 3, but inside this saga, he did it. He went Super Saiyan 3, and it was really epic. Now, that's probably one of the best looking form of Goku, and that's the reason why this is number 2, because we have two epic moments inside this season. Coming in at number 1. We got the best season to me. This season is the reason I started loving Dragon Ball Z, and that is... The Frieza Saga Season 3. This season has the best fight in anime history, Goku vs Frieza. When Goku first goes to fight Frieza, it was really a, it was a really epic battle right there. And the reason why this season is so good is because Goku transformed into a Super Saiyan for the first time. We never thought there was such thing as Super Saiyan. Everyone who was on Super Saiyan, they were like, what? What is this new power? Damn, man. Akira Trump really surprised everyone when he made Goku go with the Super Saiyan. That's where all the Super Saiyan started from, right here. And from here, he, it advanced to Super Saiyan 2, Super Saiyan 3, Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan. So, and later on, it advanced even more. So, that's the reason why I really like this season because we had two best moments in Dragon Ball Z. One is Goku going Super Saiyan for the first time, and the other one is when Goku fights Frieza. That was the best battle this far in anime history. That is my top 9 Dragon Ball Z season, people. Let me know in the comments below what is your top 9 Dragon Ball Z season, and which one did you find to be the most boringest one, and which one did you find to be the most amazing one. That is all for today, people. Is there anything you like about my list or what we have to talk about? Please drop me a like. That would be amazing. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. I'll greatly appreciate it, guys. I'm Google T23. Have an insane day, people.